Now the question says a sample of 0.5 grams of an organic compound was treated according to Jeldal's method. Okay. The ammonia evolved. Now let's keep noting the data. I think that will be useful. Let's you know, not worry too much about the word Jeldal. I mean, we have essentially 0.5 grams of an organic compound. Lovely. And what happens in Jeldal's method? All the nitrogen is converted to ammonia. So I have all nitrogen to ammonia. And this ammonia which was evolved, it was absorbed in, it was absorbed in what? 50 ml of 0.5 molar H2SO4. Fantastic. So what happens? This ammonia totally reacts away with the sulfuric acid and this is usually in excess. Fine. The residual acid, there is extra acid which remains and that required how much? It required 60 ml of 0.5 molar NaOH for neutralization. There are two two bases and together they are eating away this acid. Find the percentage of nitrogen in the compound. Very simple. How do we solve this? Total milliequivalents of acid is equal to total milliequivalents of base. Uh, so, milliequivalents of ammonia plus milliequivalents of NaOH is equal to milliequivalents of H2SO4. This is the basic concept. Milliequivalents of base total is equal to milliequivalents of acid. How do we find this? Now, milliequivalents of ammonia is millimoles of ammonia into 1. Why? This is 1, n factor is 1. Plus milliequivalents of NaOH. Multiply them. 16 to 0.5. That makes it 30. And NaOH, this is 30 millimoles and equivalence factor. Now, millimoles into n factor is equal to milliequivalents. We know that, right? So, into 1. This is equal to milliequivalents of sulfuric acid. 50 into 0.5 and for H2SO4, n factor is 2. It is not 1. So, 50 into 0.5 into 2. Oh, wow. How much is this? This is 50, this is 30. So, millimoles of ammonia comes out to be 50 minus 30, which is 20. We have 20 millimoles of ammonia. That means this corresponds to 20 millimoles of nitrogen atoms because one ammonia contains one nitrogen atom. So 20 millimoles of nitrogen atoms. And if you have 20 millimoles, my dear, of nitrogen atoms, what is the mass? So mass of n atoms is 20 millimoles into 14 grams per mole which is 280 milligrams. So percentage of nitrogen we have 0.5 grams 500 milligrams so 280 by 500 into 100 which is 56 percent so we have 56 percent nitrogen by mass in the given organic compound